You have 12 seconds to guess what this is. I cut down these pieces of mesh with my angle grinder and attached it to this wooden frame that I have finished with boiled linseed oil and screwed it together with a bunch of pocket holes. It's a climber for my sweet peas, did you guess? Today's job on this garden follow along project was to find a way to separate the path from the main part of the garden. And that's because the chippings go everywhere. I like the simple design of these stone borders and found them in a colour I liked. I'll be burying them into the ground so that they end up level. This is so I can create a platform for the bin shed. I kept the line straight by using string. Once I'd cut the stone to size, I thought that it might have actually looked better if I just cut it at a 90 degree angle at the corner, but I've already cut it now, so I'll know for next time. Now that I know where the border's gonna go, I'm just gonna concrete it in place. I decided to mix my own with some sand and cement. Concrete would normally have aggregate in it as well, but I didn't have any of that, so I just stuck with what I had. Later, I used some external leveling fluid, which will even out this area. I'll leave this area to dry fully. And next episode, I'll be doing the base for the woodshed, so don't forget to follow along.